Hey there guys, uh, Matty432 bringing you another video, this is desktop customization. Uh, I did make a video on this a while ago, um, but a lot of you have been asking for it recently, so I guess most of you haven't seen it. Uh, so yeah, no, I thought I'd just sort of redo it. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about as well, you know, some things that have changed since the last time, so uh, uh, might as well make another video of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, okay then, let's get started. Eh? Uh, first off, I'm going to talk about uh, Rocket Dock, uh, which is up here. I've got sort of all my sort of uh, total media for apps and uh, Camtasia, along with Sony Vegas and some other stuff up here. Uh, very useful, just sort of hidden away at the top there when I need it. Up you go. Uh, very customizable. Uh, dock settings, as you can see. Uh, you got loads of options in here. You can change the uh, the layout, the looks, everything. Uh, download links for everything, by the way, will be in the description for you know whatever I've got going. Um, Whilst I'm up here, I might as well talk about Screen Pick. This is, I think, uh, well, I just named it that. I think it's called uh, Geyser, if I remember rightly. And I did a video about this a while ago. Uh, basically, what you do, you uh, get a little click on it and get a little crosshair like this. You drag it across what you want to uh, screen cap. I'm going to be boring and do my CPU and whatever. Uh, and then just wait for it to pop up. Uh, what this actually does is this uh, takes a screenshot of the selection which you've selected uh, and uploads it straight to the interwebs. Uh, so, as you can see, there you go, there's my screenshot. Uh, already online, uh, no need to update it, oh sorry, no need to upload it again just, just uh, give out the link and uh, share your picture um, talked about Rocket Dock um, I've got my taskbar on auto hide uh, if I just actually unpin that so I've got a bit of space to click uh, you can go to properties and you get a little, little box like this uh, lock taskbar, you always want to lock taskbar save you from sort of randomly dragging it and dropping it somewhere you don't want it uh, and auto hide the taskbar basically does what exactly what it says. Um, you can change where it is on the screen, uh, top left, right, or bottom. Usually the bottom's good, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some other stuff you can uh, tweak around with, uh, but those are the basics of it. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, Rocket Dock. Uh, I've actually done like a proper 15-minute video on setting it up or whatever. Uh, which was the original desktop customization video uh, so I'll stick a link to that in the description uh, go and look at that if you want some more details but basically uh, that's what all these cool little gadgets on my desktop are like the CPU, the RAM, uh, the calendar, the clock and I've got some stuff on the other screen as well um, so that's that's what those are um, uh, excuse me uh, you, when you install it you get a little icon uh, down here somewhere there you go uh, which if you right click uh, you get all the options for it. There is another way to set it up, however, if you go to Start Menu and type in Rain uh, Browser, I think it's called, yeah, Rain Browser. I prefer to set it all up through here. Actually, this is a lot, a lot uh, easier to uh, to use. You don't have to keep going down here and click on that to open everything up. Uh, once it loads, okay so there we go you can browse for new ones in there uh, you got your active tab which is uh, all the um, I guess widgets sort of gadgets I don't know whatever that are already active so you can uh, click on them uh, and choose from them from there uh, this is probably going really slowly because of uh, I've got Camtasia running as well which is quite power hungry so I'm just actually just going to close out of that but uh, anyway that, that's basically what I use to uh, to change my rain meter loadout Okay, so that's closed. Um, what else can I talk about? Let's talk about the wallpaper. Uh, I've got dual screens, and what I use to change my wallpaper is Display Fusion Pro. Uh, again, I think I did another video about this. Uh, link to it will be in the description. But this basically lets me choose individual wallpapers on both my screens, uh, or if I wanted, I can span one image across the two. Uh, I prefer to have different ones. Uh, but basically, this lets you either select one image or randomly change, uh, uh, ra randomly select images from a folder. Uh, which is what I which is what I do. Uh, so very useful. I'd recommend this program if you do have dual screens, uh, or more than dual screens if you're uh, if you're that posh. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. No. If you don't have dual screens, of course, I would suggest just using the default. If you go on to if you right click on desktop and click personalize, um, you know, select your desktop background here. Uh, you can select from. Let's go to. Uh, yeah, you can select loads of them uh, and shuffle them so it'll play in like a slideshow it, if, if you've got one monitor it'll play in a slideshow um, every 30 minutes you know select your tip very basic stuff but if you've got one screen I wouldn't bother with display fusion uh, I just use the, the sort of in pre-installed stuff that 
Microsoft uh, give you. Well, I'm going to start talking about some uh, extensions and gadgets. Um, I use Chrome. I know some of you will use Firefox, and hopefully none of you will use Internet Explorer. But I use Chrome. I, I prefer it. I think it's quicker. I think it's got less of a. I think it's got less sort of taskbar space at the top, more viewing space. Uh, and this is just some of my extensions which I've got installed. Uh, AdBlock very useful. I uh, would recommend that. Very useful for YouTube actually. I, d I don't get any of the sort of ads at the top right here. They're all uh, they're all whisked away. Uh, fastest Chrome. I guess that's slightly taking. Yeah, no, taking from was it fastest Fox? I can't remember. Uh, I like it for the infinite web pages. So just you know, scroll to the bottom, it'll load the next web page, and so on, so on. Uh, bookmark icon only bookmarks bar rather. Uh, if I just put another bookmark in there, uh, this is very useful. Somebody did actually ask for this. I uh, asked what I used. Uh, it gives you an icon just there, which if you click it, it basically renames all of your icons on your bookmarks bar to have no name. It just blanks the name out, which is useful because it means you can get more icons on, but it's bad because it means you no longer have any names. So, uh, for example, if I now took this off the bookmarks bar and just dropped it into there, it's now got no name, which is kind of bad. You sort of don't really know what it is. You have to identify it by the icon, which wouldn't be so bad, but some of them uh, don't have icons. Uh, bit of a double-edged sword, but I, I I do keep it on there. I do like to have them small, have more space for my icons, of course. Uh, LastPass, very useful. I've talked about that before as well. Uh, very secure. Uh, keeps your passwords. I've got different passwords for every site now. And uh, that that's basically sort of the one place that I, so I don't have to forget any of them. I can just go to there, and it's multi multi browser, so uh, uh, useful if you're switching between computers. Uh, auto stop auto. Oh my word! I I hate this sort of auto play on the videos on YouTube. That really irritates me. So I've actually got a uh, uh, little extension here, uh, which stops that from happening, uh, but allows buffering, which is very good because I've got a really rubbish internet. Uh, X marks is very useful as well. This is again multi browser uh, and this syncs your bookmarks. So all of these ones up here uh, will be applied to Firefox and is it Safari, the, the Mac one? Um, wherever I go, I, c I can take my bookmarks with me. Uh, so that's very good. Alright, so I thought I'd take you on the other screen actually. You don't usually get to see this. Uh, this is where I keep all my icons and some other uh, small little Raymeter things. Uh, but I mainly want to talk to you about some of my gadgets on the right over here. Uh, I've got my clipboard manager, which is very useful. Uh, if I just select facebook.com and copy that on the other screen so you can't see that. You can see it just adds it to the top there. But it keeps like a track of all of my uh, copy and paste history. So if I need to go back to anything, I can just click on it and it puts it to the top. I can paste that straight into anywhere now. Uh, this is the uptime, uh, how long my computer's been on. Uh, that's my clock for US time. I don't know why, but it's useful because those people are in the US, uh, and I'm not. Uh, this is automatic uh, shutdown for my computer. So if I got a long upload, uh, I did used to use this. I now use my uh, my app actually, which I haven't really done a video about, but I will do soon. So anyway, anyway, ignore that. But but this basically uh, shuts down your computer uh, after a set amount of time. Uh, quite useful for some uh, some people. Uh, this is my mouse monitor. Uh, how many clicks is that? 646,000 clicks uh, with this mouse. Uh, and your sort of distance. It's just, uh, most of these are pretty sort of just just cool, cool things to have on the desktop, really. Uh, network meter. That's reasonably useful. Uh, Twitter or tweets rather. Uh, I do like to see a little r roll of my uh, tweets coming in. Um, and yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much it. I've also got a uh, CPU and RAM meter there for this screen. So if the other one's covered up, I uh, can still look at what's going on behind the scenes here. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it for my desktop. Uh, all download links are in the description. Hopefully, uh, if I just go to YouTube, quick bit of advertising here. Uh, do head over to my channel and drop in a suggestion uh, for what videos to make. Because there you go. Uh, I did have a lot more, but I've just removed all the ones which I've already made. Uh, which weren't relevant. Uh, so there's now 12 ideas on here already for me to uh, to look at and maybe make videos on. Uh, drop your own in. Uh, suggest something and uh, I'll see if I can uh, make a video on it uh, to help hopefully you and other people out. So uh, if you haven't already, go and do that. 
uh, like and dislike ones that are already there. Uh, j just check it out and uh, see see what's there already. Anyway, uh, I'm waffling, so that's probably the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe and check out my other videos.